What's up YouTube? Alright, today I'm going to be doing a review on some shoes. Uh, these are the Jordan Space Jams. And i uh, pretty excited about these. I recently found out about a website called DHGate and I went ahead and downloaded their application. And I went through and did some research on YouTube, kind of found some videos, some shoes that people had already purchased. And uh, I was actually pretty impressed with the way this box looked when it came in. I had to take it out of the package. So, I mean, I just wanted to see if this was the actual pair I, you know, purchased because I actually got a couple of them. But this is the one that came in first. So, I haven't took it out of the box yet, so this is a full unboxing of what they are and full review. So, here's the box itself. Uh, it's got 23 with a 45 number on it. As we all know, when Jordan returned after retiring, he retired his number uh, at 23 and came back with 45 and still played with the Bulls. Uh, the box itself is kind of beat up, <clears throat> but I think that's just because of the shipping. Uh, <coughs> other than that, I mean, it feels pretty solid, so I'd say the shoes are probably okay. These are a size 12, and I ordered these uh, from the seller Run 20, or it was like Run 200, or Run 20, or I think it was probably Run 200. And uh, a lot of good reviews on that guy, so uh, if you guys are interested and you like what these look like, great seller sorry about that got a grandfather clock so anyway all right taking that top uh, cover off uh, the 45 is what you're gonna see right here on the top of the box um, and it's not too dinged up that bad so looks kind of cool you got your kind of looks like like space probably with some stars and stuff in there <coughs> sorry if I'm coughing guys I actually came down with a cold a while back doing some stuff out in the garage it was really chilly working on the truck so alright uh, right here on the inside you got your Roman numeral 11 plastic cover that goes over the shoes and I'd say this is probably what the boxes look like when you actually order the space jams or if you ever bought them back in the day in the actual store uh, on the inside here, it looks like you get a Jordan card. It's probably like a certain edition card that comes with each pair of shoes, I'd say. Um, we got shoes 1 through 15 up in here, as you guys can see. And uh, number 11, of course, Space Jams. Uh, it says on the inside, um, November 1995, that would be two years after I was born. I think the movie Space Jam actually came out in 96, because I think I was probably about five years old after I saw it, and in 96 I would have been three, so. It says, from the beginning, Michael Jordan has been involved in designing the Air Jordan basketball shoes. His intuitive insight of bringing a formula look to the court served as the inspiration for the remarkable rendition. Like the man, the Air Jordan 11 is sophisticated and without equal. It's kind of cool. I'm not really sure what kind of pose this is. I've never really seen Jordan going up in the air like that. He's kind of got his hands flared out. I don't know. It's whatever. All right, so on the inside, you got your fly paper. This kind of sets on top of the shoes. It wasn't really anywhere. <coughs> All right. Uh, right now, just from looking at it, uh, with the shoes inside their actual plastic bag um not too much going on here as far as like looking like maybe they were tore up or anything you got like a small little gash in the paper right there but i don't think that's yeah it doesn't look like it affected the shoe at all these are actually like just taking a look at it from like right here all right um wow yeah these are actually really clean looking uh, I'm not seeing anything really wrong at all. No stitching out of whack, no paint anywhere. Yeah, this looks really good. Um, not seeing any signs of glue. <laughs> wow. Yeah, these are these are pretty badass. And I've been wanting these shoes since I was, you know, a little kid. So for sixty-five bucks, sixty-five bucks, this is what you're getting. All right, uh, you got the 45 on the back. Stitching looks clean on there. Um, I know everything's reversed probably because I got it front facing. I don't know why I'm doing that. 
Uh, the Jordan. All right. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, I kind of caught this just a second ago. Uh, it almost looks as though... Yeah, it kind of looks like the head kind of blends in with the body just a little bit. It's not too crazy bad. And maybe the body itself, because I actually have a whole bunch of Jordans, and I know what the Jetman's supposed to look like. It's a little chunkier, in my opinion. Uh, just If you guys want to comment, let me know what you guys think. But it does almost look like the Jumpman might just be a little chunky. And I know that head. Yeah, that head's got to be, you know, kind of formed in with that body, it looks like. <coughs> but I'm not going to hate on it. I mean, for 65 bucks, you know, there's got to be a something just a little bit off. You know, and I think that's just because of the, you know, the time and the material and, you know, the way you, they make this. It's nothing on them. No disrespect either. Around 200. I mean, this is a great looking shoe. Uh, on the tongue, you got your. It looks like Jumpman Jordan. I'd like to think what that is. You got that on the inside of your tongue, right here. Uh, I don't remember personally if the original Space Jams had anything on the top of the tongue. I'd probably have to go look at another picture of them and see what they actually look like. But. Uh, yeah, there's no scuffs on the uh, satin leather. I like to say, I think that's what that is. Uh, no scratches on it, no scuffs on it. Uh, ice is clean on the bottom. Your uh, hard plastic piece here is pretty nice. Seems pretty solid. All right, yeah, uh, once again, that jump, man. I mean, it's, I'm not like crazy gonna critique it, but, you know, just a little bit chunky. That's, that's kind of what I'm seeing there. But it's not too bad. Overall, though, I'd say, you know, anybody looking at this from a distance, anybody just kind of checking you out, yeah, this shoe is overall just, it, it feels clean. You know, it looks clean. Uh, the second shoe, all right. Um, second shoe, I'm just going to do a kind of a quick overview. I don't want to bore you guys too much with this, but, all right, uh, pretty much just the same. Same shoe. Same thing. Uh, just a little bit chunky -y. Junk man, jump man on the bottom, uh, kind of chunkier jump man on the back. Heads kind of blended in, not too bad though. 45 is clean. Uh, jump man Jordan on the tongue, clean. Uh, the ice is clean. Everything looks very, very clean on this. Yeah, mad respect to this guy uh, for the way he's got these shoes done. But yeah, overall, I'd say these these are actually well worth the money. For 65 bucks, I'd buy these any day of the week. I think uh, Space Jams themselves retail anywhere from like 230 to probably up, you know, depending on what, what edition you're getting, limited edition, special edition. Uh, bottom of the box, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and show you. You got your Jumpman on the inside, some more of your kind of galaxy starry view. Um, on the bottom here got your Nike symbol stuff like that uh, actually I think on the the top casing yeah you got your Looney Tunes there and that was I think more of a promotion because it was kind of intertwined with the whole Space Jam thing the actual movie but yeah uh, clean shoe looks nice feels nice very happy with the product uh, if you guys are interested in shopping on DH gate uh, this is what you're gonna get Probably as far as quality, it looks nice, feels nice, and I'm happy with it, guys. So for 65 bucks, uh, money well spent. I'm probably going to be ordering some more off of there uh, on top of the other pair I got. Uh, for the next review, if you guys see another review of shoes on my page, it'll probably be for the Kyrie Mamas, and it's the uh, Kyrie Kobe collab. So with the Bruce Lee Mamas when they came out with them. I don't know if these are some hot shoes that everybody's going to have, but I do know that nobody in my town's got them that I've seen. So that's kind of why I wanted these is because I haven't seen anybody rocking any Space Jams, and I wanted to be the first person to step on our court with them. So <coughs> hope you guys like this review. If you do, like it. Uh, if you don't, hey, that's cool. If you guys got any comments, anything you got any questions about, maybe I can answer them for you. And if you guys are interested in seeing some more stuff on the page, uh, just go ahead and subscribe. And I'll probably try to put some up for you. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and peace.